Welcome to Provo, Utah, Lavelle Edwards Stadium, home to the 1984 national champion, BYU Cougars, and this, one of the more intimidating venues in all of college football. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Kansas State Wildcats, taking on a team looking for its first win, the BYU Cougars. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. BYU about to kick it off as we get this game started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Makes a move. This guy makes you hold your breath when he gets the football in his hands and that last line of the coverage team, the only thing that stopped him from housing it. The Wildcats offense will have the first possession of the game. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. Third down and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving. Snagged in the middle, it's Brown. You know this sophomore has a big arm and there were some revolutions on that one. Kansas State has it with another first and ten. Quarterback checking the play. Running it to the right. Shakes off a tackler. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. Johnson wants to throw it. Makes the grab. And that's where they'll mark him, but a chunk play, and they pick up a first down. Kansas State really has this drive rolling. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding them. Nice catch. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Let's go. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Into the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. I can't imagine that going any better. What a great start for this offense. Opening drive, come out, have success. You know, most offensive coordinators script their first five to ten plays. Looks like that script worked pretty well. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner is stopped. So the BYU Cougars offense headed on to the field. Our first look at them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got his man in the middle. Oh, big juke to get past. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. BYU right back to the line. He's looking to throw it. 
He makes the connection. When you have a conference as deep and balanced as this Big 12 is, it's important to get off to a quick start in conference play. Yeah, you're going to be challenged each and every week here in the Big 12 Conference. Since they've expanded, the quality of this conference has gotten so much better. So, David, big challenge here to make sure mentally your mind is right starting the season off today. Yeah, I mean, to make your dreams come true, it starts one game at a time, the old cliche. But the Big 12... Year in and year out, so many different teams that can beat you. So many different teams that can put points up on the scoreboard. You gotta start fast in Big 12 play. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. Check, check, check. Oh. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that play shows you really what this defense is about. It's a difficult one to attack. They're really good. One of the best in the country. They come at you from all angles. So I. I'm interested to watch. How do you mix up the play calling? Oh, look out. There he goes. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, BYU. I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. He can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little bit of vision, showed you a little bit of burners, he kicked it in gear, and got the long touchdown so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. No chance to return that one. A booming kickoff out of the back of the end zone. It's a touchback. Here comes the offense on first down. On the ground, it's Gibson. Finds Zach Priest, and he's got four after the 29. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Johnson looking to throw. He'll pull it down and run. At the 45 on his way. He's finally stopped. But a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. They made the defense pay with that last big chunk of yardage. Now first and ten from the 30. Runs through the tackle. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Running back searching for a hole. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Kansas State. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. On the move from inside is five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tapped. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. And he converts on third down as he gets it out to the 26. The Cougars getting set on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed in the middle. It's green. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. 
Looks as if BYU will have a first down. Really good start to this drive. They moved the chains a couple of times. They've created some space. They'll snap it from the 36. Got his man quickly. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. Second down coming up. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. BYU. Lots of time left, and we are ready to get back to it and open the second period. He's looking to throw. Makes his connection. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. A first down for the offense. And look, I know they don't have a big explosive play on this drive, but you got to love the way the quarterback is making good decisions. He's reading coverage. The ball is going where it needs to go, and as a result, this offense is piling up first downs. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 200. Afterburners coming. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. Really nice job working the route, getting himself open. He's able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. And the extra point was good. And that extra point leaves us deadlocked here in the second. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Ready to fire from the pistol. They want to run it left here. Nifty little dance step. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Offense trying to keep him off balance on first and 10. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. That's reeled in. It's Edwards. I like this taking the safe play, getting the positive gain, and seeing if you can build some momentum. And I think it's making the right play, Reese. That, that's what quarterbacks get in trouble sometimes when they get too aggressive and then they get behind the sticks a little bit. I see a lot of space, take advantage of it, get it to my running back, let him chew that up, and now it's easier on the next down. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Quick handoff. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense in. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. It's a first and 10. They'll try the run. Nice move to keep running. Ripping through the defense. Touchdown, Wildcats! He ran through tackles like water through a sieve. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Kansas State, 21, BYU, 14. 
And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and i got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you. And they got him for the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes in offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Finds his man. Quick step and go. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that. They just keep throwing him the ball this time on the slant. No doubt. And, and you've seen it with the slant. You've seen other routes. Every route he's running, he's good. He seems to be open. So I'm going to continue to pick at it. And the pass is intercepted. Never had a chance to get rolling after the pick, but he gives him the ball in prime field position at the 40. First down here for the offense. They go to the ground. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. They've got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second. Using the quick game. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Oh, they had the screen all set up on first down, and he couldn't make the catch. After the misfire, now on second down. Johnson wants to throw it. Quickly complete. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. He's going to pass. Finds his tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Escapes the... A shot for the end zone. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. He wants to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's Jackson. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. Kansas State in business in the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. Pressure coming. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. Moving out of the pocket. On the run, fires downfield. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Kansas State. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. BYU, 14. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down. Listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate. Got a lot of running room. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Cougars! 
once he got loose, it was all over. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half and get all the juices, all the excitement. And be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. You know the saying, no risk it, no biscuit. If you want big plays on offense, you've got to be able to take shots. They didn't hit that one, but moving ahead in the second half, expect this offense to keep dialing on. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Johnson looking to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And as the first half draws near to a close, here comes the field goal unit. Smashes it between the uprights. And now the lead is even bigger. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Provo. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to our broadcast team inside Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Kansas State will kick off as we get things started here in the third quarter. He'll start the return inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. They got a lot done through the air in the first half, and they might need even more production here in the second. I think they will, Reese, and, and I think this is an offense that has proven they're playing with good timing right now. They've got some matchups where they're winning one-on-one, -on -one, and they're just going to have to keep going back to the well, David, and relying on hitting some explosive play. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And last week was great for this young man. But, man, again, showing you he can do it at a high level. Just working the whole field, using different guys. He is absolutely on fire right now. It's caught downfield. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting first possession. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. This BYU offense set up with another first down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We'll play a little pitch and catch and see how good that second down is. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing. 
BYU will bring the punt team on the field. It's hard probably with the fans. Well, I'm listening for me too. To justify, you haven't ran the football very well. Not a lot of success. Third and short and you run the football again. So I think you got to find something that's going to work. Maybe get the quarterback out of the, out of the pocket, him running the football, or he can run or pass. But the run game just itself, it's been pretty scuffed so far by his defense. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. They're getting this guy lathered up. Got the first down, looking for more. And he's brought down after a nice game. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop them. There's nothing more demoralizing than a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. Slipping, sliding, dancing his way down to the 32. Looking at a second and short now. They'll give it to the back. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And the Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. They'll try to make up for that last one on second and 15. Johnson wants to throw it. Looking to the big tight end. And this sophomore's going to learn. You can't force that type of pass. Very lucky to get it back. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And that lead grows even bigger. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. <laughs> Fires the pass. Intercepted. He was dreaming of getting a few more on that return, but they'll take it in business at the 32. Some defensive players just have a knack. I've played with guys throughout the course of my career that you can't coach it. It's not speed. It's not strength. It's literally, I know when to break on the football, how to go get it, and how to pull it in. It's just a knack. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll leave it with the lone back. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. Looking for a gap. It's Giddens drives into the defense and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. After the three yard pickup they come to the line second and seven. They'll leave it with him. You know as a defense you kind of want to force the give on the RPO. You want them to run the football and you can tell maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small game but some information you gathered maybe for the next time you get to run an RPO. Get it out on the screen. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. The Wildcats are moving quickly down the field. Really nice job there at the quarterback reading cup. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wildcats! These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. And that one is picked up in the end zone. 
about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Kansas State, 40, BYU, 21. The returner will field it and bring it back. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into the game. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. Here's the handoff. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. Now on first down for this offense. He wants to throw. Makes the grab. It's Robert. Still on his feet. He's loose. Past the 20. Touchdown, BYU! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, is because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six-yard gain. The coach is always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They'll keep it on the ground. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Quarterback will audible. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They'll rely on running behind the big left tackle here. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. Sometimes a quarterback just needs to turn the ball loose. It was like he tried to guide that one in, and it disrupted the timing. Yeah, and, and just like in basketball, when, when you shoot a shot and you, you start trying to aim it, you really, really miss. You know, quarterbacks, they got to quickly be able to recognize, do I need to fire it? Do I, do I need to put a little air underneath it? And, and it's just a tough thing for a quarterback to be able to do, but over time, you see they have less and less mishaps like that. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And that will be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He wants to pass it on second down. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And BYU lines up quickly. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. X 
excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. It'll be a draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Throwing right. Got it past the marker. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Cougars are moving quickly down the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Unloads to the right. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. And sometimes you see great shooters, and they get on fire, and they just can't miss. And that's what this QB looks like the last couple of weeks, man. Just completion percentage through the roof, running the offense at an elite level. You can tell in complete control of this offense. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. BYU now into the red zone. They're going to throw it again. Fires into the end zone. And he throws another interception, his third of the night. He'll try to take it back. He's inside the 40. At the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Kansas State. What a great play by the defense of paying it off with the interception return. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. North Carolina is putting on an offensive clinic. They've built a big lead, and this one is approaching blowout territory. They're up by 21 over James Madison. Finds a spot in the middle. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Trying to pick up a first down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to... All kinds of running room. Touchdown, BYU! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. This receiver is dangerous because of what he can do after the catch. Once he has the football, he is so good at making defenders miss. He saw it on that one. And he tacked on the extra point. They still have work to do, trailing by two possessions here in the fourth. They'll line up for the onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Got the first down and more. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Power football with the run. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Leaves it with the back. Got some room in it to the goal line. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats! With that, the lead nice and comfortable, and they're cruising toward a 4-0 start. That score looks as if this one might have put it a little too far out of reach. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. That was just the icing on the cake. But, you know, speaking of cake, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Can we, can we get out of here? Can we finish this game so I can get something to eat? Offense getting set for first down. He's looking to throw it. Finds a man on the left. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Uh, uh, 
face mask penalty cost the D 15 yards and a first down. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. Going up top on first down. The quick out. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. BYU trying to make this red zone trip pay off. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the wideout. He caught it. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. Snapped it in the shotgun. Looking for the score. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're so Oh, and they blocked it. Still on his feet, and remember, he can return it. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And it was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. The give to the tailback. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. They go right back to it. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. And the Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Really nice job stopping the run, but the problem is you have zero timeouts left. You cannot stop the clock right now if you're the defense, so this has got to be excruciating for them. They know the offense is just going to take their time before they snap the ball. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field. Seemingly it will. Throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this is what's going to cup of tea. Ah, more defense option. You can't really get too much of that stuff. But, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. you got to get one, actually just kind of one stop with as many points as being scored. you got to stop late that's why you got the dub so that's going to do it for us for jesse palmer david pollock i'm reese davis saying so long this has been another presentation of ea sports college football